they're redundant mm -hmm. because the freight guys do not like passenger rail on their rail because right. if they break down, they have right. no freight. Right. Mm -hmm. So these have redundancy. Uh -huh. It's really nice. That's you could run on one engine, big. but they normally run two. Right. Huh. And they'll go That's up big. to 85 miles an hour. Wow. But the trail, the rails in Vermont are what, 59? Yeah. Yeah, 59 is the speed limit. Or these rails are town. Lower on these. Is like yeah. And these, yeah. these in town are like five, five or ten. Yeah. Yeah. We need a little work on these. We need some work. Yeah. It is very yeah. cool. Mm. Very cool. Sweet. Well, the real good. deal. These are real Make cars. Well, they're yeah. highly competitive. Um, these cars were they via rail wanted them badly, and they still do. Um, so David was. Insistent. I, 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 he I was, did them, but they wanted them bad. Wow. <laughs> they wanted them bad. Because these originally were from Canada. Well, they were made in the U.S., and then the Canadians bought them and ran them for years. And then they were all being uh, scrapped, and then they got rebuilt in Montreal. Uh, when was that? 95 or so. Dallas uh, put them into service. But now Via Rail wants them back into Canada because mm. they need this sort of rail car for their rural right. uh, transportation, just like mm -hmm. we're doing. Right. So we were in competition in the bidding war with uh, Dallas, but we won. They actually thought they, they were going to get them. They call up and say, do you want to like, sell some of those? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I got two cars of seats. <laughs> yeah. If I could double my money on that, I'm good. <laughs> Because yeah. they, they went and had a crew of uh, people down from Canada, down to Dallas. They spent three days. They had man lifts. They went through the whole thing. So on the due diligence, I knew that they knew this was good. So mm -hmm. it allowed me to buy them. They said, okay, because we didn't do that much due diligence because we thought they were good cars. But How old confirmed were you know? Yeah. yeah. The age. Are we ready? ready? Take your, whenever you guys are ready. All aboard. Just a couple minutes. A couple yep. minutes. Couple yep. minutes. These cars were built in the 50s, <laughs> yeah. and they were completely rebuilt to modern standards in the mid-90s. Uh, wow. And there was a $26 million put into rebuilding uh, 13 cars back then. In the 50s? Wow. I mean, you so, never, seriously, you'd never know you it. Never know. I mean, to look at them, yeah. they're beautiful. Yeah. 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 I mean, you'd expect wear and... Yeah, well, over 400 of these were built in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the 40s and 50s. Uh, the Boston and Maine, the Boston Railroads, a lot of railroads ran these back in the 50s and 60s for mm -hmm. passenger. Um, and then they uh, basically got rid of them all. Hmm. But uh, So they, they used to run from uh, Boston to Montreal through Vermont wow. back in the uh, 40s and 50s. Hmm. Before the highway was built. Yeah, and in wow. fact, um, two people um, Lee Kahn met up with down at the trains were remembered riding the bud cars mm. before mm. the interstate was built in Vermont. Mm. And they were so excited they want to become now advocates. And I don't know if they're Montpelier residents or not, but um, they are really very, very excited. And uh, they remembered this and said, good for you. I can't mm. wait. So the rail corridors are still where we all live. Michael, you were mentioning in your uh, work um, for the for the Montpelier, was there 26,000 people with 23,000 jobs? In the capital corridor. Within the 21-mile mm. loop. So within one mile of the rail line from Waterbury to Barrie is um, 23,000 jobs and uh, a million and a half. A million and a half square feet of state facilities, state almost facility. all of it within walking distance of the rail line. So, all here. Sustainable Montpelier is looking to transform, help transform that. Yeah, you know, uh, you know well, we're, we're like we we want to work on the idea of getting how do you get people to the uh, the rail and then mm -hmm. working hopefully with the mayors to uh, say just say, wouldn't it be nice if you fixed the rails? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, the, this stretch through Barrie is going to be a slow slog, but <laughs> it's really pretty though to look yeah. at it. <laughs> Going across the bridges and the bridges. Yeah. 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 The bridges. Okay, well, stop. Everybody sign replaced. your waiver. Yeah. Now we'll cross the yeah. bridge. Yeah. Yeah. The bridges are strong. Yeah. Will you be able to bring bikes from the trains, you know? Well, that's David. Oh, absolutely. Um, 
He's got, a, uh, he's got some well, history with Portland, bikes on Portland, them. Oregon is running two of these, and uh, we did a deal with Portland. They got two more of these butt cars. That's why only 10 showed up here, and I sold two more to Portland. So Portland's like our sister city. They're helping us on a lot of things. They know how to run these. And <coughs> for bikes uh, on the front, they just put hooks, and we just hang the bikes. Up, yeah. So we, we aren't going to go too crazy on, sure. like, Amtrak for, what, 10 years now? To, to right, get bikes right. on the front. Yeah. yeah. So no, we're going to have bikes. We're going to be able to get yeah. yeah. You're just going to have hangers on the front of them? Probably hangers, so you just hang them, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what they do on you so know, not like the pull down. Not, yeah, yeah. <coughs> no, there's no baggies places. There's no other. You, know, you have to hang them in the front. Hey, that guy looks interested. Sell him a ticket. Oh, sell him a ticket. Sold out. We uh, take credit cards <laughs> for the uh, Montpelier Capital Corridor no, concept. Come over here. Which was this drawing a lot of you have seen? His name is Paul. The cars are a key element. Ah, <laughs> this is your model. Oh, you fit it up. Yeah, the HO model. <laughs> and it can carry through to Barry. Oh, awesome. So it's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, you have a ticket? We have to throw you on? <laughs> can you grab me? Uh, we're looking at these brand new shiny cars, Paul. I love them. They're awesome. Um, they're really in good shape. You've done good, David. He says, I gotta go down to Dallas. One night he was saying, I go, why? I gotta go look at these trains. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was looking at. And off he went. <laughs> <laughs> and you also went to Austria though, right? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. <coughs> this winter we're gonna be over there looking at the, the gondola for your town. Mm. That's the national mm. life, right? <laughs> but we're going to do it the Vermont way. This is not gold-plated uh, $50 million projects. This is, uh, you know, you get uh, a rebuilt equipment, used equipment that's in good shape. Mm -hmm. So Vermont way. might actually happen then. Yeah, well, we can't it spend is. tons of money. you got to do it right. Exactly. And this will be our start. Eventually, we'll have all this electrified. But, you know, we're going to run diesel, biodiesel, because um, the efficiency's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things get two and a half miles per gallon. Uh, so, wow. and you can get 88 people sitting here. You can get 140 people with standing room. So you can move a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the cost per mile. So to run it, cost per mile, all in. Give or uh, take. I don't know. We haven't run the numbers, but it, it's a lot less than running Amtrak. Mm -hmm. the Amtrak crews. We're, we're probably be one third the price. Wow. Huh. Uh, because you only need one operator. Um, and if you have a com you know somebody to service people, that's two. You don't need a crew of firemen and all this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And and they're bi-directional. You don't have to turn them around. Yeah. Uh, just go to the other end. Turn them on. Go the other way. 